Before we import our AutoCAD 2D drawings in SketchUp, we need first to clean our AutoCAD drawing. So first, you have of course to safely save a new file of your original AutoCAD 2D drawings. So in this case, I have saved it into a another file which is Bongolo for SketchUp. So you would see that all the dimensions, labelings, including hatches, were removed, okay, including their layers. And to some extent, if you have a complex AutoCAD drawing, you need also to remove the furnitures. But since this is just a simple uh, AutoCAD drawing, then I just leave it as is. And if all the unnecessary drawing elements from dimensions to hatches and furnitures, including their layers, are safely removed, then we are now ready to import and prepare again the drawings for modeling in SketchUp. So here in SketchUp, we import through the file menu and then selecting import. In the import dialog window, you locate and select on the appropriate file, of course the prepared CAD file for modeling. You could select specifically the file type here, but I like to select on all supported types. But you could always select the specific type of drawing or file that you need to import. Before clicking on import, click first on options and make sure that merge coplanar phases and orient phases consistently under geometry are checked. Uncheck the import materials because we don't need that. And under position, you could either unselect this one. But for me, since I know that my CAD drawing is in 0, 0, coordinate, and I want to preserve that. And this is important if you are, for example, going to insert different files of drawings into your SketchUp file. And lastly is, of course, the units. Make sure that you select the appropriate units that has been used to create your CAD files or CAD drawings. So click on OK and then Import. And SketchUp provides us a summary of the uh, different entities imported by SketchUp. And then just close that. And here we have our CAD drawings. And in the version that I have, the imported CAD drawing is automatically converted into a component. So once I double click on the object, I could go inside the component and under outliner, I could see the different components that comes with the CAD file. That's why it's important to also remove the Furnitures, especially if you have complex drawings. Imagine how many subcomponents will also be listed here under your outliner. So, one way to notice or to know if an object is a component or a group is, of course, you have their angle brackets to signify that the object is a component. And so, if we click on components and then under in model, we have here the components for this SketchUp file. So we have Laura and of course, the imported CAD drawing file. However, in other versions, the imported CAD files are automatically converted into group. And for much older versions, especially if, for example, you imported the CAD file without any geometry existing on the SketchUp file. Let's say for example, you deleted Laura from your template and then you import the CAD file. Your imported CAD file will not be automatically converted into either a group or a component. So if that's the case, make sure to select all the geometries and then make them as a group. But of course, for me, it's already a component. And before proceeding to 
create the 3D model for the CAD drawing. Double check the scale of your drawing using the tape measure tool. And then measure known geometries. So I know that my columns are 350 by 350. So once I measure it, then it's correct. It's 350. Now, there are instances that the imported CAD files are out of scale. So what you do is, of course, you could also use the tape measure. You measure that and then type the known or the exact dimensions for it. So once I type 500, for example, enter, SketchUp will ask you, do you want to resize the model? If you click that, it will resize. However, I have nested components, okay, that comes with my model. So SketchUp is notifying me that it will not be resized. So for now, I'll just click on no. There are two paths that you may choose to follow in creating your 3D model. First option is not advisable, but some SketchUp users are using it. They directly model and extrude from the imported CAD drawings. Say for example, in this case, they immediately trace over the CAD drawing file. So if they are coplanar, automatically just tracing the edge will create a surface. However, as I have said, as we have checked in the outliner, this is composed of different components. So, in this case, the SketchUp did not generate a surface. And one reason could be it's either not a closed loop of edges or as the outliner has shown, this could be a nested component. And it is. And then again, you cannot create again the surface because of some unknown issues. So this one disadvantage of this first option. Another one, if we try to extrude the geometries, you must be within the component. And then there are unnecessary lines being created that of course that you need to clean up. So there are at least three issues we encountered with this particular method or path. Firstly, you must be within the component. Secondly, we don't know if the CAD file or the CAD drawing is perfect, in which we don't know if all the geometries has a continuously closed loops of edges. And lastly, extruding your geometries creates extra and unnecessary lines that, of course, you need to clean up. So, making it inefficient. So, the second option is better and instead of directly tracing over the imported CAD file, we make the CAD drawing as a reference drawing only. And it needs another preparation for that. So, make sure that your imported CAD drawing file is stirred into a group or if not a component. And by the way, it's important to align your axis to your drawings as we have demonstrated on earlier tutorials that we could accurately model in SketchUp by following the axis directions. So if your CAD drawings are not oriented along the axis of our drawing environment, I suggest you orient them appropriately by either of course using the axis tool or the rotate tool now to prepare our grouped CAD file or CAD drawing let's check first on the layers so let's bring out the layers in my case it was renamed as tags so once I say tags I am pertaining to layers and by the way, I believe this is much more proper term right now because the layers in SketchUp is not 
the same as the layers in AutoCAD. It is different because the tags or layers are only used to control uh, visibility okay, of your objects. So to properly prepare our CAD drawing as a tracing reference, let's select all the layers that comes with our imported CAD file. So click, shift, click, okay? To select all the layers that came with imported CAD file and then delete, okay? By clicking on the uh, minus sign under tags or under layers. So click and then make sure to choose this radio button, move contents to default tag, then okay. Then all the geometries of the imported CAD files were reassigned to the untag layers or default layers of SketchUp. Now create a new layer and then name that logically. So let's say it's floor plan of course. And then enter. So let's move our floor plan to that layer. So, select on this floor plan and then go to Entity Info and then select Tag or Layer and then choose Floor Plan. So, in my case, it is named as Tag but in your case, it might be Layers. So, Tag or Layers. We choose on Floor Plan. So, we could... Turn on or off now our floor plan through the tags or layers. So select again our floor plan. Right click and then let's lock so that we don't accidentally mess up with it. Further, we could also change the style of our imported CAD file. Click on edit. So styles and then edit. And then I prefer I don't have endpoints. Some versions by default have endpoints check, including extensions. Okay, so I'll clear those items, including profile, to make it much more lighter to the eye. So it's thicker outlines with two. We could change that to one, or just uncheck. So just leave the default. And then just uncheck. So for me, I leave it like this. Now, last thing before we could start properly creating our models is to create scenes in order to control the visibility of our floor plans easily. Okay, so we close the other panels and open tags or layers and scenes. And before we add the scene, let's save first our SketchUp file. And then let's add a scene. And SketchUp warns us that you are changing a scene or style. So I'll just update the selected style. Then create the scene. And let's rename the scene. Let's type floor plan on. Enter. So right click in other versions and then rename. So right click, rename. In other versions then just type the floor plan on and then make sure that all of these options are unchecked and then back on to layers or tags let's turn off the visibility of the floor plan and then add another scene And then rename that scene as floor plan off. And uncheck again everything except visible tags. So we could easily toggle on or off our floor plan.